Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. Today we're at Universal City Walk because I'm gonna give you a tour right inside here. Universal Studio Store. Come on in, check it out. So yes guys, you'll find the Universal Studio Store. It's right here at City Walk. And to get to City Walk or to hang out in City Walk, you do not need a ticket to the park. You don't need an annual pass. Uh, if you do come before six, you would have to pay the fee to park in the garage. Um, if you want to park on site, it would cost you to park in the garage. But after six, it's free and you can come into this store anytime you want. So let's kind of walk in together, guys. I've never done a vlog here at this particular store. So I figured, hey, let's try it and see if you guys like it. If you want to see more merch from Universal, leave me a comment. Hit me up on my social media. You'll find all that information in the description of the video. And please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into it. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of walk around, show you a few of the different things here. You know, just kind of like a cool shirt, right? Universal Studios Florida. It's got all kinds of the cool rides. Some of the, uh, let's see, no, I th uh, some of the older rides too that aren't here anymore, like the Back to the Future. So you'll find different merch just like this. Wait, that shirt was $33. Guys, there's gonna be a lot of quick clips here because of the music with copyrights. But kind of just see a lot of the universal things here. As I said, I will highlight, these are the refillable drink mugs, $28.99. Then you can refill for the whole day. You can bring that drink mug back and pay a discounted price and reuse it again for unlimited Ah, use. Lots of Simpson. And again, you can just come into this store. You do not need a ticket. So you'll find a lot of Simpsons merch. Here's a mug. Best vacation ever. And that mug is 15. A couple more shirts there. More Simpsons merch here. The Duffy beer mug. That would be nice right out of the freezer, right? $14.95. Let's move right along over to this one as well. Another cool one. Love that. $12.95 and body by Duff. And just to show you a few more, they have this big donut. You can actually get this inside the park. And actually, this is almost about the size of it. Life size is about comparable to this little mug. Souvenir sippers. First we feel free, so those are $18. And a few more shirts here, guys. Lots of Simpson stuff. Here we have some of the um, minions, right? And this shirt here, guys, just for an example, 35. What I'm doing is I kind of came in there. What I'll do is I'll just kind of S around the entire store so you guys can get an idea of some of the different merch. Actually, Jake has this. This ball's cool. You bounce it and it lights up. It's really neat. How much is it anyway, guys? I think it's 12. And yes, like Disney, you will find Marvel. Different kind of copywriting, different kind of ownership with the Marvel. Um, licensing i guess you can say but they are available at disney and here at universal this one's pretty cool this is like a zip up hoodie 65 uh one thing i'm already noticing is merch here is cheaper than disney that i can tell you right away just in what i'm looking at so far something like this at disney would be 30 how much is it here 17 so you guys can see pretty cool and they have the lounge flies Marvel lounge flies, quite a few of them. Let's see how much they are here. At Disney, they're usually 75. That's 82, so, eh, 75 usually at Disney, but I've noticed a lot of the Disney ones are kind of getting around 85, so you can have an idea on the lounge flies. I really like this Spider-Man hoodie. This thing is really cool. I like the colors of it with the, the white and the red. Really neat. Let me see if I can get a price on that. Look at it, around the hood, really cool. Let's see guys, 60. Another cool thing about Universal is they always usually have a promotion. Right now it looks like 300 minimum purchase required and you can get a free wand. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And those change a lot. They rotate out different um, promotions. Just like in a theme park, you'll find a lot of this stuff too, as well. Here's a Jurassic Park hoodie. It's kind of plain and regular. 47, lots of Jurassic Park. Wow, look at this. This thing's neat. I don't know if this is a lounge fly or not. Let's see. No, it's not a lounge fly, but it's cool, man. Pop. 
This one's 82. That's making me think. Let me go back to those other ones and make sure they are lounge flies. Maybe they're not. Let me go back and have a look and make sure as we come on over together. Um, no, actually, yeah, they're by lounge fly. Pop by lounge fly. So, yes, they definitely are lounge fly. As a t shirt, two for 44. Quite a few different ones. I like the Popeye ones. Those are cool. So all kinds of them right there. And plenty of mugs, all kinds of mugs. So you kind of get the idea. This is a pretty big store. Definitely not the same size as the world of Disney. I know I'm comparing a lot to Disney, but we gotta compare it to something. A lot of plushes. Let's see how much E.T. is just for the heck of it. E.T. $16.95. And Woodpecker, he just closed yesterday the Woody Woodpecker roller coaster. Yesterday was the last day to ride it. They will be doing some refurbishment over there and changing that whole area where this used to be. $17 for the Weedy Woodpecker. I imagine they're going to run out of those really quick. Lots of Dr. Seuss. Again, guys, we got the lounge flies. Let's see if they're holding on the 82. That's what they've most of them been. Let's see if I can get a price. Let's see a price. Where is it? 82. Yeah, so it seems like the lounge flies here at Universal kind of going at that 82. I'm noticing against the wall here too. Tons of keychains, tons of pins, phone covers. So we're kind of like, we're just did half the store. So there's not a lot of loud music now, so I can kind of roll. And then you just have kind of your universal things. Here's another promotion. Let's see what this one is. Universal rolling back for only $60 if you spend 70. So you get the roller. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, excuse me. So that's really cool. Looks like this would extend up. You guys can have a look at that. That's really nice. I love this. Nice little carry-on, right? Just in case you buy too many things when you're in the parks. Not too bad. For 60 bucks. And it's nice and bright inside this store too. It's really cool. It's not too busy today. It's a uh, Tuesday around noontime in January. So lots of socks. You know, as you go through the queue to check out, find all your little things here. Everybody up there just kind of chilling, happy. Lanyards. More Universal merch here. Yeah, guys, you're on the adventure with me on Meddling World. Please, as I stated, don't forget to subscribe to Meddling World. There's a lot of Universal merch just right here. So we're going to make our way down towards that side. I think you'll find a lot of Harry Potter stuff. Let's go find out. Again, no. This one's pretty neat because... It's got the U.S. Universal Studio Florida, almost kind of like a college-looking uh, varsity letters, right? To make it look like a uh, sports jacket. So, guys, I kind of walked to the back uh, corner of the store. Over on this side, we walked in over there. This whole side is really all Harry Potter. So, really cool. Check it out. And they do have the wands. I'm going to show you guys all the different wands here. These are cool, man. And these are interactive, a lot of them. So you can do the tricks uh, in the uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter, located on both parks here. Let's see, which one do you guys like? Let's see if we can find a cool one. Really neat. Voldemort. Let's see. Look at that one. And there's your interactive tip right there. take a walk through and check out some more stuff all kinds of harry potter stuff guys and by the way the interactive ones are 63 dollars and also inside the park you can buy them they do kind of like a little interactive show uh and then as you go through the show as you leave through the queue you come into the store so it's really really nicely themed if you want to buy one inside right inside the wizarding world of harry potter so but again guys look at it all these are the the Oaks, I guess you would call it, right? And yes, I have honestly watched. I have watched every single Harry Potter movie. It's been a it's been a while, but I have watched them all. But I can't remember everything because it's just so in depth, right? Um, but everything's here. Look at so cool. Let's just kind of see. Oh, the candies! I like to show the candies here, guys. From the show, remember the chocolate frogs. These are cool. Oh, this is a puzzle, actually. Chocolate frog puzzle. Oh, there it is. 
but they do actually have candies. Um, trying to see if they have any in here. I know for sure they have them in the park. Again, in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, all kinds. Oh, the Legos. Let's take a look. And do we have any prices on the Legos? Not seeing the price, guys, but they probably don't want to tell us. Look at this. Really cool. Let's see. I don't see a price anyway, guys. Help me. Let's look over here. Let's look on the bottom. Oh, oh maybe there. I can't really see. Oh, there it is. Looks like a hundred and... I gotta put my readers on. One second. You guys probably already saw what it said. Yes, it was 130. Thank you. I know somebody saw that before I did. And here's another really big one. Yeah, look at this thing. Wow. Let's flip it around. Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets. Are you serious? Let's see. Can we find the price, guys? I don't think they want us to know again. We found one price so far, but you can see that they do have a lot of the different Legos here. I like this small little kind of purse backpack. This thing's neat. 65. Wow, look at that. I really like it. And there's a few different ones here. I saw this one down here too. London to Hogwarts. These are nice in a park if you just have a few things you want to carry and you just want to use it kind of like a backpack rather than a purse, although you can still. I like this one. I did find a candies, guys. The chocolate frogs, three for 35. Also, lots of candies over here. Honey Dukes is a store you'll find right inside. Also, in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We have bought these. These are cool. They have all the disgusting flavors. Really neat. So, they're really cool jelly beans. Yes, they have like dirt and worm and even, I think, booger. Look at these exploding bonbons. Really cool. So yes, a lot of the different candies. This is pretty neat to have like this display case of real nice collectibles. It's kind of, you guys can browse through. Oh, I like the holder for the wands. That's neat if you're into collecting the wands. Here's another one. Look at that one. Look at the Gringotts Bank. This is cool. And if you've never been in the park, they do have the Fire Breathing Dragon. And that's over here on the Universal side. Another lounge fly here. Harry Potter lounge fly. Let's see, is it 82? Sure is. Some more merch, guys. Check it out. Seen this before, but they do have the golden snitch. That is really cool from the game that they play. Let's see, $20. It's a collectible, pretty neat though. I have not seen that before. And let's take a look at this tumbler because I like this one. This one really caught my attention. That one is, wow, is that 32? $27. Nice though. Did want to show these. These are almost kind of like spirit jerseys, right? These are really neat. They're very light though. They're very lightweight. Let's see if we can find a price. We got a price right there, right? And 70 for these. And they have them all, man. What team do you want to be on? So guys, that pretty much wraps up the whole store. I'm gonna exit out now. I mean, there it is. That's the whole store, and it's a cool store. Today was an awesome day, and it was not busy. Let me get these Ray-Bans back on because it is a bright, beautiful, sunny day here in Florida. Guys, thank you so much for watching Meddling World. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Like I said, uh, kind of something a little different. I've never done a vlog inside the Universal Studio store, but I figured, I know there's a lot of Universal fans out there, and I'm not sure if there's a lot of vlogs about that store. So there you have it. You guys can check it out. If you're interested, there is another store here. Let me know in the comments and I'll go 
uh, and do a vlog in that one as well. So please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya!